Hey folks, Carl is here. So in the last video, I did some really cool calculations on getting from a parking orbit to a transfer orbit and how much delta V you need to get into that orbit. And I'd recommend you watch this video, watch that video first. Um, I basically figured out that if I want to get back to Kerbin safely after going around the moon, um, I need about 5,100 meters per second in delta V. Now that's if I'm very, very conservative with, my, uh, the, with the way I come back to Kerbin. Um, if you don't have a heat shield, you can be a lot more aggressive. I don't have a heat shield on this rocket. I want to see if it's possible to come back without a heat shield. So I'm going to do my regular ascent stage and put myself in a parking orbit and try and fly to the moon. So here we go. So I'm going to turn on SAS and I'm going to try and pitch over and really try and keep the key is, is trying to keep the inclination inclination good so or inclination as, as close to zero as possible because the moon has an inclination of zero degrees so we want to make sure that when we get up there we are at zero degrees so I'm just constantly trying to recheck roll uh, stability augmentation doesn't seem like it's doing that great of a job. We are we are practically let's throttle it down a little bit. Oh, it's too late. So I wasted a lot of fuel on going. Yeah, I should have throttled down a little bit. I was going... Let's see, what's my apogee? Yeah, I'm practically like straight up. And that's 120. Uh, so let's go ahead and just take this time to... correct our, our roll. We can go ahead and jettison the uh, booster rockets. And the first stage. And then this way we can... can really orient the rocket here and just to make sure that I am oop I don't want RCS just to make sure I'm doing the be, actually I don't even have RCS it doesn't matter so just to make sure I'm doing the best best maneuver possible I've got a minute to add this maneuver so I'm going to circularize my orbit here I have a perigee of 57. Problem is I need to do a plane change. Oh my gosh, it's saying I need 2400 meters per second of delta V to fix that plane change. Yeah, so this is, this is awful. Okay, let's, uh, let's just fire these boosters. Pretty sure that's what I had before. All right, let's let's. What the heck? Oh, do I have to be in this mode? More than likely. All right, deploy those, and then fix my roll angle and fire this guy, and then just throttle this guy up. Go back to map mode. Okay, so that. Definitely looks a lot better. Let's see if we can do like a little plane change. Yeah, my inclination is 3.3 .3 now. 3.2, this is good. Okay. And a 
let's see our our eccentricity is coming down so when that gets to zero we'll hit a circular orbit so we're just going to kind of watch that I don't necessarily want an inclination of zero what i want is actually okay i think i think we're done here well let's there we go, now we're done. Okay, so I actually did pretty good here. So I still have 1,700 left over, and I think I need 800 to get there and back uh, if I do this right. So there's the moon. So let's put a maneuver here, and let's try to hit the moon. Whoops, let's not go too crazy. Possible. I have to go around one orbit. There we go. I don't know what I just did. I think I did like a radial in, radial out. I don't necessarily want to do that. I kind of want to delete this node now. And add one here again. To bring this out. Because according to my math, I only need like 815 to get there. And I also want to make sure, so that's gonna slingshot me. Yeah, I mean, that's gonna put me in the sphere of influence, but it's not necessarily having me wrap around. So maybe I do need to do like a little radial in, radial out. I mean that seems that seems pretty good, but I'm using I'm using too much delta V. Let me try let me try moving this node this way. And then no, it's not gonna work. Okay. Oop. I think I for a half second there I saw it loop around. Yeah. That seems pretty good. What's that perigee? 315, yeah. So we might be able to disturb, do a disturb grade burn. We are going pretty fast past it and we're at a weird inclination. I mean, if I try and fix that plane, that's definitely a lot better. But now I'm using 900. Okay, let's uh, let's try that. I'm still shooting past it. I don't, I don't really like it. I came around here, the perigee. Could I catch it? Yeah, see. See, this is this is where you want to be. That's it. 873. You're firing at perigee, like watching paint dry. What was it before? 873? There we go. Yeah, because you're not, it's not at the optimal point. I see what's happening. I think we're just going to have to go for it over here. I think another thing that we could do is, like it's not picking it up, but I think 
Yeah. Okay, let's 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 execute this maneuver. 873, I computed 815. Okay, so we're a little bit over, but that's fine. Uh, so let's let's go to the maneuver node. And then let's time warp. Here we go. Oh gosh, I flew past my window. Of course I did. Now let's just see if we'll still hit it. We're still at a wonky inclination, so we're kind of like shooting over it. Great. Okay. Um, it looks like we're still going to run into it. I have no idea if we're going to be able to catch catch the moon, but we are going to try. Okay, so here we are at this perigee. So wait, where's the moon right now? Okay, so I gotta go around one time. What's this perigee down? Ooh, well, I guess it didn't matter. How's my charge doing? Yeah, charge is fine. Okay, so here, here is where I get into the uh, sphere of influence. Okay. There we go. So here at Perigee, I want to add a maneuver and I want to do a distrograde burn. Boom. But I only want to do just enough to put myself in an orbit because I am really running on fumes here. So that apogee is way out. That's fine. I'm gonna just execute this maneuver. So I'm gonna go to the maneuver node. Uh, can I not rotate? I'm time warping. So let's head to the maneuver node. Okay. I only have 800 meters per second of delta V. So see, this is a thing. Like, can I make it home, right? So this is a two second burn. So I think I think I'm just gonna eyeball this. And uh, shot past it again. So I'm just using shift and control to get myself into an orbit. Okay, according to the map screen, I am in orbit. I have 751 meters per second of delta V. So according to this, if I time warp, I should just fly around the moon. Perfect. And actually, this is what I like to see. Because see, I am at this apogee point here. And I want to, oop, not distrograde, retrograde. I want to, oop, here we go. I want to shoot away from the moon, just like that. And then that is gonna put me on Ah, I think I need to use a scroll wheel. Somebody told me that. You can like scroll, aha. So I don't wanna use that much. I want to get that perigee as close to zero or close to a curve as possible. I just need to get out of the moon's sphere of influence. This is good. I'm only using like 70 meters per second of delta V. And... Okay, there it is. That's what I want to do. Okay. So I'm going to orient the maneuver node. Okay, I'm already there. And so I did my perigee is going to be pretty high, but I'm hoping I can, yeah, I don't know. This is going to be tough. 
This is this is what I'm saying. Like I could bring my perigee down, no problem. But I would be going so fast I would burn up in the atmosphere. So this is this is the challenge here is to try and get back with barely any fuel, no heat shield. And if we can do it, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, so this is another one second burn. So I, I think I'm just gonna pulse it. Okay, so I'm a minute away. I'm probably close enough where I can just There we go. What was it supposed to be? 500? Let's do... Let's do one more pulse. No, I made it worse. Shoot. Okay. Uh, forget it. Just stop. You're just making it worse. Alright, so let's time warp here. And let's get out of the moon sphere of influence. All right. And now I am in a orbit around Kerbin, which is huge. But I'm at least outside the moon sphere of influence. So if I bring in the Apogee, let's put this here. And I want to get this down to like 70 kilometers. How much delta V do I need? too much. Okay, I'm going to use 500 meters per second of delta V. That's actually not that bad because I still have 669. So let's orient to the maneuver node. I think I can, I think I'm going to do this. I think we're going to make it home. Okay, so I'm at the maneuver node. All right, and see, by the way, you see this Leo debris? This is what happened last time, is I, I jettisoned in this in this thing, and now I just have debris out here, which is which kind of sucks, but I mean, that's, that's the nature of the beast of playing this game, I guess. Okay, so uh, let's fast forward to the node. And this is an eight second burn, so I think I can I think I can, uh, so I need to be at four seconds. Okay, 22. Okay, so four seconds, so 10, so six seconds from now, we're gonna hit Z, burn for four seconds, and hopefully we don't burn too much because if we bring that perigee, oh shoot, I missed it. If we bring that perigee down too much. Okay, so now I wanna, I kinda wanna pulse this. Actually, I think I'm gonna just burn slowly. Because if I get less than, I think at, at 80, I think I'm gonna stop. I'm watching my Delta V, I don't have that much left. Okay, and... Okay, 69, perfect. All right, so now the question is, can I bring, how much can I bring that Apogee down? And it looks like, I think safely I'm gonna do that. Okay, it's still pretty hot. I guess one question is, is, is how, how fast, let's, let's see, how fast am I going? Um, through yeah so I mean I'm going it's curving I'm going like 3,000 meters per second right through here right so you definitely want to bring that down um, so let's, let's bring this down. I don't want to use too much. I kind of want to just use like a hundred meters per second of Delta V. Okay. 
Okay, and then let's orient to the maneuver. That was my, okay, my charge is good. I must be charging some, no, no, I'm burnt, uh, I have no idea. No. I'm generating power somehow. I don't exactly know how. I'm still not used to this part of the game. Okay, so I'm. Uh, it's another one second burn, so I think I'm gonna do this the slow way with shift and control. Okay, so just don't blow past it. Oh, it's telling me. Yeah, it won't let. I mean, I'm. I'm definitely in the atmosphere because it's not letting me. Uh, Yeah, my apogee is coming down. So I'm definitely in the atmosphere and I'm, I'm bringing this down. So this is good. It's, I just need to make sure I don't like burn up or anything. Okay, anyway, so I'm close enough. I'm gonna go ahead and start burning. So we're, we're slowing ourselves down so that we are bringing the apogee in, basically decreasing the energy of our orbit so that our velocity at perigee is smaller so that we don't burn up in the atmosphere. Uh, and like I said, I'm being very careful and conservative with my delta V here, and I'm gonna try to do some like aerodynamic braking. So I should have like 70 meters per second of delta V left over when I'm done with this maneuver. Okay, and I'm done. Okay, so that maneuver is done. All right, so we should be able to, so now I'm curious if we just time warp, okay? Let's keep an eye on this, this apogee. And then what's this perigee? And, you know, if I go through the atmosphere, like am I, am I bringing this down or am I not, I'm not far enough in? See, it's, it's possible, so I'm still going really fast, but it's possible I'm not far enough in, which means I need to do another, distrograde burn and bring my perigee down but I need to be absurdly see I, I need to freehand this because I need to be absurdly careful oh, see my apogee's coming down oh shoot it's coming down a lot really fast am I let me make sure I'm pointing prograde because if I start getting hot No, that was it. My app lapse is going up. Oh, wait, it's moving? No, I thought it was moving. Um, but, 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 there's so many things I could do here. I could do another, like, it seemed like I only needed like eight meters per second of Delta V. So I could, I could just go into a retrograde burn and bring my app lapse back in uh, even more. Or I could just start I could bring this in a little bit. I think I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna bring that perigee in like ever so slightly. Okay, so I'm gonna go retrograde. Okay. And I'm gonna look at that perigee. Okay, so I'm at 58 now. Okay, so now I'm gonna orient prograde. And the reason why is because again, I don't wanna burn, I wanna, I wanna see if I can skip through the atmosphere here. So I wanna click the perigee as well. I don't wanna time warp, I want you to go to prograde. Okay, and here we go. I'm drifting, come on. So here's, here's where I'm coming into the atmosphere. I'm not at perigee yet. And yeah, there we go. My app lapse is coming down. That's exactly what I wanted. So I guess, is it time to just go ahead? I mean, I'm at 58. 
Is it time to go ahead and just use the rest? Of, that's what I'm. That's what I'm concerned about. Is I don't want to use the rest of my delta v. Like I want to come into the atmosphere, and slow down, right? Yeah. See, there's definitely an atmosphere, so I'm definitely skipping through the atmosphere right now. And I want to bring my apoapsis down, but I don't want to bring it in so much that, you know, I just. Because I want my periapsis to be a little bit smaller. So let's. Let's just go retrograde. Let's bring. Let's bring. Let's like use another like 30 meters per second of delta V. So I'm burning a little bit. You can't tell, but I'm burning. Like you can see my numbers are coming down. Yeah, I can't. I just. I can't bring it down that much. I have. I definitely have more control on the other side. Okay, apparently I was using time warp with a structural vessel. I mean, it seems like I just need to uh, warp around and uh, and every time I do so, I will uh, I will bring my apogee down. Yeah, now see now my curb and periaps is coming down. And I'm only and I'm going 3000 meters per second. Like re remember in the in in here I was only going like you know between 23 I need to be going like 2300 before I start like slamming through the atmosphere. So if I'm coming in hot at like 3000 meters per second, so I really need to make sure that I really need to make sure that I can bring my apoapsis down. And so this is just like a game between like how long can the astronauts survive in space? And I mean, I am, I am running out of charge here, you know, like for station keeping. Because I don't have any solar panels. So maybe I need to be more aggressive. So when I get to Apogee, I think, I think I need to go ahead and go to retrograde. And bring that perigee down a little bit more. So we're gonna hit shift, we're in retrograde. Say down to 50, okay. We still have 20, 27 meters per second of delta V and that should have brought our charge up a little bit. That's another thing I'm concerned about. Like I'm just, I'll be dead in the water. Okay, so let's see. So now, See, now we're really coming into the atmosphere. Where's my rocket? There it is. And I'm still going really fast, 3,000. Wow, see, we're heating, yeah, see, we're already, but we're, I mean, we're getting a significant amount of drag, yeah, I mean, we're at 55, and that periaps is, that apoaps is still pretty high, so can I get through the atmosphere and not burn up? Because at, at, at this point, you know, I've gone too far. Have I reached periaps yet? No, I haven't. Shoot. So I'm just going to keep accelerating. Well, I'm actually slowing down. And nothing's getting hot. This is actually pretty convenient. So I'm hoping I can just do this for a couple orbits. 
I mean, I was at like five. I think I was at like five million. Now the only thing I have to worry about is my electric charge going down because I didn't put any freaking solar panels on this thing. So maybe I should turn off stability augmentation. Will I just tumble? Or am I like aerodynamically like stable, you know? Okay, let's, uh, let's time warp here. Yeah, I'm gonna drift, but at least I won't be like burning charge. I'm trying to time warp through this orbit and go ahead and get to the next one. So I'm at 24, 2.4 million. So let's see. So I'm curious if, well, I, don't know, I don't even see my rocket, there it is. I'm curious if, yeah, see I have a larger surface area. What was I at? I was 2.4 million. So let's see if it, if it comes in. Yeah, what I'm curious about is if my rocket is just gonna completely tumble. Okay, see now, now things are starting to get hot. And that was at 2.4, I'm already at 1.8. I mean, this is working. It's not exactly the most efficient way, but it is working. So I was at 2.4 and now I'm at 1.8, right? So, so I guess I just need to do this a couple more times. And again, just making, keeping an eye on my electric charge. And as soon as I can, blow it up, come back in and do it again. And every time we get through the atmosphere, we're going to burn off momentum and bring our app labs down, decreasing the energy of our orbit. And hopefully we'll bring it down to that safe 2300 number and we can tumble it plummet into the atmosphere at that point i will um, use the last bit of my delta v to to slam into the planet oh yeah so i'm at 1.7 see i'm going to see the aerodynamics feel like are, are keeping me stable yeah see this is actually kind of cool see so i don't need to actually turn on the electric charge and because this is like a second order system it's causing me to oscillate which is actually helping my heating which is kind of convenient so i don't like get like one side too hot so remember i was like 1.8 now i'm at 1.3 and then we just go around again okay yeah this is i'm liking what i'm seeing If you think this is boring, I guess you can just fast forward. Like I said, I'm just trying to time warp out of this orbit and come around to the next one. And here we go. And then we do it again. And I mean, what's our perigee now? I mean, our perigee has been 49 the entire time. Like we're, 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 we're basically getting like free Delta V burns. That's essentially what's happening. And then here's our second order oscillation. And there is, there is it, our apogee really coming down now. So once our apogee gets to like 120K, right? It's like 1.1 million. Once it gets down to like 120K, that's gonna be our parking orbit. And at that point, I can use my last remaining delta V to bring in the perigee and then come in. Yeah, okay, right, sweet. I'm I'm within a I'm within a million kilometers now. A million meters, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna start getting hot. So I don't know where my aircraft is or my rocket is, but it's gonna start burning up here soon. There's my apple apps coming in. 
so we're not we're not actually getting much of a oscillation this time. Okay, yeah, so we're coming in 800k. This is good. Hopefully on this one, maybe. Might have to go around one more time. Yep, one more time. All right. Once that number stops, I know I can start speeding up again because that means I'm not in the atmosphere. There we go. Nope. There we go. There, yeah, 707. Yeah, see, it's, 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 it stops after a while, and then I basically just spam this, spam the greater than sign until, until I get there. Okay, so now I'm at 2600. Remember, I'm trying to get to 2300, so I'm, I'm definitely getting there. Just speed up time warp times four and wait till we come into the atmosphere. Again, Perigee's been a pretty rock and solid at 48, and I'm already oscillating, so I must be hitting some aerodynamics, and then I'm gonna start heating up. This heating and cooling is like probably terrible for fatigue stress, but I doubt they model that in this game. Come on, bring me down to 120k. I don't want to do this again. I guess every time you come in, you're going slower. So the amount of drag that's burned off is slower. So this is kind of like an exponential thing. Whoa, am I tumbling? Oh, okay, that's because I'm coming out of the atmosphere. Yeah, so every time it's going to get worse and worse. Or it's not going to be, the aerodynamics are not going to be as effective as they were before. Okay, there we go. Nope. There we go. When the music changes, too. And then I'm in the atmosphere again, the music went away. There's like the deep space music or whatever. There's a pretty slim margin here, so like I don't want to just like go create. I don't want to just like try and come in now, um, because I think I think even if you come in at like twenty one hundred meters per second, I mean that's uh, is the density the same on Kerbin? Because if it is, I mean the speed of sound is three hundred, so I mean that's almost like Mach ten, right? Those are that's hypersonics. So I mean we're dealing we're dealing with hypersonics here right now, and I just don't really want to risk it. Yeah, again, every time it's just going to be, we're going to get less and less of an effect because we're just, we're going slower, so then our V squared term is getting smaller. That'd be pretty awesome if I landed back on Kerbin, or back on the, uh, back on the Space Center. Okay, 277, we're 100K away from getting under At some point, this is going to be so low. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, maybe maybe I should just jettison this. Because at some point, the app lapse is going to get so low that I'm just going to, I'm going to be in the aerodynamic field the entire way. So maybe do one more because I am creating a lot of drag, which is kind of nice. And I might as well just burn that last little bit of fuel. I'll probably do it here at Perigee just to bring, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. On the next go around, on the next go around, I'm gonna. F uh, how much electric charge do I have? See, that's the other thing that I gotta be careful of. Then again, aren't I oscillating around? Like when I get into the atmosphere, doesn't it point me retrograde? I feel like it does. Because if it does, I might just wait until. Yeah, there we go. I might just wait and fire at retrograde and just 
Yeah, just like, you know, just pulse it. You know, every time I oscillate around it, just pulse it. This is ridiculous. It's kind of cheating. I need to be careful too because I'm firing before perigee, so I'm actually bringing my perigee down. Yeah, actually, oof, this doesn't look good. Yeah, I actually don't know if I'm going to make it out of this one. Because I'm at 40 kilos. Yeah, I'm not making it out of this one. Okay, uh, we need to turn on stability augmentation and point prograde. And then we need to, uh, we need to jettison this rocket. Uh, we need to do it quickly. Shut down engine. And then we need to go retrograde because we're coming in. This is it. Yeah, okay. This is the final approach. Now let's go ahead and time warp. Actually, I don't really want to. I'm 35 kilometers above the surface. I'm actually kind of scared. Yeah, that's fine. Just pay attention. When I hit... Okay, yeah, when I hit like 350 meters per second, I'll go ahead and engage the... Uh, Engage the, uh, what's it called, the parachute? What's my altitude? Okay, actually I think I've done it at like 250. As long as I keep coming down, that's right. Yeah, that's usually what I do. So as long as I keep coming down, and I don't speed up, and I need to keep track of my altitude. So 270, we're still going down nine kilometers. When I hit 250, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna hit 250 in time. I'm already at five. I'm um, over the sea, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and launch the parachute. And that'll bring my surface velocity down. And then when I get to one kilometer above the surface, well, it's more than that. Must have had the settings differently. And there you have it. I successfully have brought Valentina home. And did I make any more debris? I don't think I did. I think it crashed into the planet, which is great because this was my mistake. I landed on the ground, which means I can EVA and I can come down and look it. And then I can wait until morning. And there we go, I did it. So I used my pretty rudimentary calculations and figured I had 4,700 or something delta V and I used gravity gradient instead of the extra 800 delta V that I actually needed and I brought Valentina home. So there we have it. I guess I'll go ahead and con uh, you know stop this video. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something and I hope you get to play and I guess I'll see you in the next one.